And some in Shelby County are feeling a little relief after an EF2 tornado touched down there as a flooded road has now reopened tonight. I'm Jack Royer. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight in the weather world with CBS 42's Corey McGinnis live there tonight where people have started driving on that road once again, Corey. Jack, they have, and it's a little quiet now, but County Road 13 here behind me just reopened about an hour ago, a little over an hour ago, but let me show you what it looks like now. Take a look, nothing but cones and road closure signs now sitting on the side of the road and traffic, well, it's back to normal, but that was not the case earlier. We spotted some drivers facing off with the flooded roadway, but Helena officials have been warning residents all day long. The Helena Police Department said the roadway wasn't expected to open up tonight. The estimated time was for tomorrow afternoon. However, Mother Nature and city workers got the job done earlier than expected. County Road 13 reopened at around 8:30, leaving a lot of happy drivers uh, happy drivers because they no longer have to take the long way home. One driver actually told me that she it would take her 30 additional minutes to and from work. But, but the National Weather Service said that the tornado caused extensive tree damage along the Cahaba River and added that the tornado weakened an EF0 when it moved over Helena, leaving damage and debris on the roadways. I got the chance to speak with Helena. Mayor Mark Hall, who says drivers should always use caution, especially in areas like County Road 13 that's prone to flood. It happens periodically at that spot. This is not the first time. Uh, the Cobb River backs up, so the tributary then doesn't empty as fast as coming through there. That creek, it can't empty into the river. Now, drivers, however, are still advised to slow down, be cautious on this roadway, and that's because the speed limit is 50, as you can see there uh, behind me. We're live tonight in Helena. Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Corey, thank you. And a road